is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So it was an eventful last game of the Emirates for Arsene Wenger. Of course, we ended up thumping Burnley 5-0, which is of course a result I wasn't actually expecting, but it was an absolutely fantastic result for us. And um, essentially uh, the boys or the players actually came out to party and uh, it was a fantastic, fantastic farewell for Arsene Wenger. The events that took place prior to the match kicking off, as well as the fact that players were actually sending out tributes directly to Wenger from themselves so it was a brilliant occasion lovely occasion unfortunately we have to go back and talk about winning things and uh, essentially we have to talk about the Champions League which is why we all watch football we want to be playing or watching our team playing at the highest level so of course it's mentioned that um, Arsenal ended up winning 5-0 against Burnley and uh, let's just talk about the starting 11 so we saw Petr Cech coming in back into the team at right back we obviously saw Hector Bellerin playing uh, the centre-back pairing really was Callum Chambers due to the um, the injury to Koscielny as well as Mavropanos who looked absolutely amazing of course when we played against United he did perform on that day and today again he looked absolutely fantastic in my opinion very brave challenging absolutely everything positioning was key as well as his passing was absolutely fantastic at times he did lose the ball here and there but he absolutely performed well, in my opinion. At left back, we saw Kolasinac, who came back into the squad. Of course, he got himself onto the score sheet, as well as the fact that in the middle of the park, it was Granit Xhaka and Jack Wilshere in the middle of the uh, of the midfield. Up top, the three behind the striker were Mkhitaryan, uh, Iwobi, as well as Aubameyang, who started off on the right-hand side of the pitch. And up top, we obviously had Lacazette, who was playing as the lone striker. So, of course, um, Burnley didn't stand a chance from the get-go, really. We scored early on, and uh, the goal came courtesy of Aubameyang very, very early. It was in the 14th minute, and um, essentially, it, it was uh, as a combination between himself and Lacazette, and uh, the ball came through Iwobi as well. Iwobi was essentially involved uh, with the drive or the build-up to that particular goal, but a brilliant combination between the two strikers, or the two forwards, if you want to call them that. And uh, Aubameyang ended up tacking the ball into the back of the net, of course, the second goal came courtesy of Lacazette himself. And again, brilliant, brilliant uh, combination. Uh, Awobi yet again involved. So we saw him playing in that number 10 role today. And essentially, uh, it did suit him. Of course, he ended up getting onto the score sheet. We'll talk about that shortly. Uh, however, the goal that I want to talk about, and uh, that was the best goal out of the whole bunch, in my opinion, would have been Kolasinac's goal. And um, basically, before Kolasinac was put through by Jack Walsher, Jack Walsher skipped past a uh, one of the Burnley players. I'm sure it was one of the Burnley forwards. And and um, essentially just skipped past him, injected a little bit of pace. And before we know it, he was prodding the ball through with his left foot all the way through to Kolasinac, who was on the left wing, and bombing down, running at pace. And essentially just smashed it into the back of the net. And we found ourselves 3-0 up. Uh, Iwobi got his goals mentioned and uh, he found himself in a bit of space took it on his left foot, sort of sliced it, and the ball went sort of on the left-hand side of the goal. And it was a fantastic, fantastic goal, in my opinion. And the fifth goal came courtesy of Aubameyang, who's in fine form for us. So I can't wait for next season, truthfully speaking. It's going to be a long, tedious season yet again, due to the fact that we will be finding ourselves playing in the Europa League. But in the Premier League, a new manager and a striker like Aubameyang, who constantly finds himself in the right place at the right time. His two goals came in from a similar position and uh, I can't wait to see what they are going to produce uh, between himself and Lacazette as well as Mkhitaryan who looked absolutely menacing today but overall the whole team played really really well and just a quick mention for Granit Xhaka as well I do believe today he had a fine game I don't think Burnley were really turning up for the uh, for the races today essentially they've got their beach attire on and uh, it looked like they were ready for the summer holidays but it was a thumping, thumping victory. The festivities were really, really well at the stadium. We also saw Per Mertesacker make an appearance and this would have been his last home game uh, for Arsenal. So again, that was quite emotional and the fans, every single time he touched the ball, the fans were cheering. So that was absolutely brilliant to see as well. So as usual, guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV. And I'm out.